Hi, hiring me is hiring your future. Now, I know that may sound a little bit cocky, but I'm going to go into further detail as to why that is the case. My name is Paige Domhoff, and I'm a sophomore at the University of Kentucky attempting to gain experience in at your com at Ernst & Young that will further make me an asset to both myself and to whatever company I work for in the future, hopefully yours. I'm looking for an internship in the summer of, um, after my junior year, so not this upcoming summer, but next. Um, and I really am prepared to devote my full attention to that company um, over that time span and learn as much as I can and just soak it all up. Uh, my experience, the skills I've attained through my academic studies and my communication skills are three of the many reasons why I would be a great addition to Ernst & Young. Now, through my experience, um, I'm involved in a sorority. And at that sorority, as a freshman, I, was, I ran for exec and was elected into the position of finance vice president. Now, as finance vice president, I had to do many different things. There were many different tasks that I had. But um, those are skills that most applicants do not have. For example, I can create and maintain a budget. I can I um, have professionalism because I had to coordinate and work with many, um, many advisors and many professionals in certain fields to make sure that all the material um, that our sorority has um, was up to date and that we were current and accurate. And then I had to over, I had to handle over 300 accounts because we have over 300 members in our sorority. Um, at just at the University of Kentucky. So I had to make sure that they paid their dues, make sure that they were up to date, make sure that they were all billed properly, uh, make sure that they were all billed every um, every month, and just so that the entire budget um, functioned well and that our uh, uh, we, may, we, uh, we, may, we remained in the green. So um, not only was I a finance vice president of Alpha Delta Pi, um, and gain skills through that, but I also have many other experiences on campus um, that really will be an asset to whatever company I work for. So one of those things is I'm an exec member of Wildcat, uh, um, of Wrap Up America. And so through Wrap Up America, I um, have fed the homeless at um, um, uh, Soup kitchens, thank you, couldn't think of the word. Soup kitchens, and I um, coordinate with many different um, organizations on campus to make sure that we create blanket making events so that we can then donate those blankets to the homeless shelter. I am on, in addition to that, I was a Wildcat ambassador and had to speak to over 200 parents and students about my experience at the University of Kentucky and why I feel that they should find a home here as well. Um, and that just gave me a great opportunity to speak with not only the students and be like relate to them on that like oh you know student level classes and things of that nature but parents and be able to talk to them about safety um, and things of that nature so depending on who I'm talking to I can alter my communication skills um, to best fit that situation and um, furthermore I was a part of the leadership development program as a freshman at the University of Kentucky now this is a position you have to um, interview for and so I interviewed and I believe there were over 300 applicants. I'm not completely sure on that number, but roughly around that number um, of people that really wanted to show that they were a leader on campus. And through this organization, I was able to meet many different leaders on campus, and um, such as Dr. Papaluto and um, you know our our former provost, and be able to ask them questions about where they are now and learn from them and basically learn the skills that they have acquired. Um, in their positions and how that can best help other people. And so just having those little bit, that little bit of extra insight is going to be very beneficial when I come to your company. Now through my academics, I am very academically inclined. Um, I'm actually a Singletary Scholar here at the University of Kentucky. So that means um, I was uh, awarded a full ride scholarship um, for being a developing leader. Um, and so that basically means that, you know, I was enabled um, a spot after receiving a specific GPA and specific ACT score um, to come to the University of Kentucky on a full ride. I'm one of 50 people in my grad in my graduating class that have this scholarship, and it's a very it's the most prestigious scholarship at the University of Kentucky. And it's because they saw me as a leader. They saw me um, being able to lead people in many different ways. Um, and then through that, I was given multiple classes and given multiple volunteer opportunities in order to lead the community, uh, members of the community. 
Now, I'm a double major in accounting and finance, and because I'm applying for um, an internship at Ernst & Young, an accounting firm, one of the big four accounting firms, um, this is going to be extremely detrimental um, and extremely essential for me to succeed. Um, I am aware of the software and um, the terms that I, that I will be um, hearing throughout the internship. And I know how the company operates, and I have researched it in um, more depth than you know. Um, and I have a knowledge of accounting that every student must have to be an accountant at Ernst & Young. Um, so base, baseline, that's what is needed, correct? So um, I'm going to have those skills that are needed and essential. Um, and so in addition to that, though, I, am a, I do speak Spanish fluently. Um, granted, it's at the seventh grade level, but um, I'm going to Spain this summer to master that and become more fluent. Um, roughly seventh grade level, um, and, I, and I'm an international business minor as well. So I'm international business and Spanish double minor. So I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm, I'm working really hard at it. So through this, I can communicate well um, with people of all backgrounds and really make make a stance to the people and understand where they're coming from better because I'm more open to that diversity and I see those different cultures better. Um, now through communication, I'm a very personal person and. Um, I think that's going to be a huge asset. My actual high school teacher, um, I mean, my statistics high school teacher, he told me that in my rec letter that if he had to pick one person that his he wanted his daughter to emulate, it would be me. Um, and that just meant the world to me because, yes, I'm a studious person, and yes, I work extremely hard, but I have those communication skills and I have that ability to relate to people um, that is going to make a difference, especially when you're handling something, something as confidential as finances. So as you can tell, I've been through a lot, but um, I'm not the person to come in and do a job well, and I want you to really know that. I'm going to be the person to come into a position and be an essential member of the team, and I'm going to work extremely hard to make that the case. So if you hire me, you will not be misled. Thank you.